Hey everyone, Alex here, and today we're going to be talking about my writing goals for 2023. To give a little bit of a background, uh, I've been writing since I was about 3 years old, I'm 21 now. Uh, however, I did take a break between the ages of 15 and 20 due to injuries and other life things that were happening. So I've only been writing again for about a year and a half around there. And last year, since it was really like my first full year back riding and I just got my horse and I didn't really know where I was going to get to, I didn't really have many goals. So this year I thought I'd really take the opportunity to sit down and formally create my riding goals for 2023. So first of all, I think it's really important to set goals in everything, but especially in riding because it can really help you stay focused and motivated throughout the year. And for me at least, I also feel like at the end of the year it helps me not be so hard on myself. With that out of the way, let's get into what my writing goals are. So I have six, I have three concrete goals and three more abstract goals. So we'll start with the three concrete goals. Um, my first concrete goal is to win a 1 meter 30 class. So in the last year, I competed in a lot of 120 classes and I competed in one 130 class. We had quite a few good 120 rounds. I placed up to second in the 120 classes and in my 130 round, it was good. I only got to do it once at the last show of the season, but we had two down, but it was pretty good. I'm hoping that in the new year, we'll be able to start right off in the 120s and the 130s at the first show. And hopefully uh, throughout the year, we'll be able to pick up at least one win in the 130 division. So we'll see about that. I guess working towards this goal, some of the things I'm going to want to work on uh, are in my training at home, uh, I'm going to work on getting my horse and me to be a little bit more careful over the jumps. So to do that, we're going to be doing some pull work and some grid work is ideally what we're going to be doing for that. And then the other thing is uh, I do need to work on my speed classes and my jump ups, basically just going faster. So at home, I'm going to work on some course work and work on some tighter turns, a little bit more speed, jumping something a little bit more like a jump off. We only practiced that actually once last year towards the very end of the year and it went really, really well and it was super great and my horse loved it and I had a lot of fun practicing it, but it is something that we need to practice a little bit more and I need to get a little bit more confident with so that we can actually, if we go clear, we can actually win the class. So those are like the two things I'm going to work for to win a 130 class and of course just getting more established and more comfortable at the height as well. I am hopeful that that won't be a problem for me and my horse. So that's my first goal. My second goal is to jump a 1 meter 40 class. So, as I said last year, I jumped mostly the 120s and did one 130 class. So hopefully this year we'll start showing in the spring and hopefully we'll go from the 120s, 130s at the first show and hopefully by the end of the year we'll, <laughs> we'll attempt the 140s, we'll see. But that's the hope at least. The things that I'll have to do to reach this goal. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna can just continue working with my, with my horse to get him more confident, to get me more confident. My horse that I have is not particularly experienced at the 140 level, he's older, he's 11, but he's not super experienced. So that means that we are gonna have to take our time and work really hard to have just a very confident 140 round whenever we do get to it between the two of us. At home for the 140s, I expect we'll be working on some grids and some single fences to work on just being more and more comfortable with the height, uh, kind of get used to the height for both me and him. And then once we're kind of comfortable with the height, we'll start working on jumping some bigger courses. Uh, at home, I've only jumped up to like a course of about 130. So working towards the start of the show season, hopefully jumping some 140 courses at home to kind of prepare. So that's how I'm hoping to achieve that goal of jumping a one meter 40 class next year. Or my third and final concrete goal is to compete in the 140 to 145 meter championships at the Balios Championships. So this is a very big like reach goal is what I'll say. I will be ecstatic <laughs> if I actually manage to reach this goal, but it is on there because it is something that we talked about at the championships this year and uh, I think it is possible challenging but possible so I think it is a good like kind of reach goal on there and basically I guess I should explain a little bit about what this is so there's a championships in September called the Balios championships and it's not like the national championships or anything for Korea because I, I can't compete in the Korean national championships because I'm not Korean but it's kind of like the other biggest open championships that there are highest prize money biggest height so that's gonna be the championship that I can ride in so hopefully we'll get to do that my horse jumped it this year with my trainer 
and he was really good. Uh, so hopefully I will get to do it. Again, this is... <laughs> I will definitely have had to jump a 140 class before this for me to be able to do this championship because not only is a 140 to 145 championship where it's 140 the first day and 145 the second day, but it is also an indoor championship. For me at least, and for my horse as well, indoors is a little bit harder than outdoors for both of us. So I will have to be pretty confident and solid at the 140 height for me to want to attempt this 140 to 145 championship, but I hope I will be able to. My first a more abstract goal kind of ties into all of these goals also, which is my first abstract goal is I'm planning on getting another horse at the beginning of this year. Now, this is a goal and not like a guaranteed thing because I don't know, I have to go horse shopping, I have to look around, don't know if anything's gonna work out, but the goal is to get a more experienced horse that has done the 140s and the 150s and something that will kind of be like a real schoolmaster for me at the bigger jumps. And so if I am able to find a horse like this, hopefully I will be able to maybe actually do the championship on my new horse that is more experienced than my current horse, or maybe on both of them if my what I learned from my new horse helps me with my current horse a little bit as well. So we'll see. So that's my first abstract goal, what I'm doing <laughs> towards working towards getting a new horse. The first thing is that me and my trainer are going to Europe the beginning of January, so like in a couple days here, and we're gonna be there for two weeks horse dropping. So that's the main thing we're gonna do. Hopefully we'll find a horse there, but if not, we'll keep looking throughout the year and, and see if we find anything else. So that's my first abstract goal. My second abstract goal also probably helps me with all my concrete goals, which is to overcome my show nerves. <laughs> a lot of people get nervous at shows. I do too, and it's pretty common, and it's not like I want to be not nervous at all, ever, <laughs> going into shows. Like, that's just not reasonable. But I think I do get more nervous than what I should be for a lot of classes and a lot of shows. I have to say that it's gotten so, it got so much better just through like the three months that I competed last year. So I imagine my best way to get over this is just to keep on competing and just keep on like getting back into the groove of things and then continuing to work on like breathing, on visualization, on those kind of techniques I think will also help a lot. I really do enjoy visualization. It is a technique that I think helps me so so much. I really do recommend it. I also think that I want to make sure that I'm super prepared for my shows and for my classes uh, and this way I can, even if I'm nervous, I can be like, you know what, no I'm prepared, I don't have to be nervous and at least if I am nervous, at least I feel like I have my preparation to fall back on and I'll be okay. And now my third and final abstract goal is to figure out where I'm gonna be in 2024. Now, this is a really weird goal and you're like, Alex, why are you thinking about 2024 again? It's literally January 1st, 2023. But this is a little bit of a life goal, like life planning kind of thing, where I'm currently in Korea and I'm studying economics at university. However, I will be graduating, hopefully, at the end of 2023. So therefore, that means I have to figure out where I'm going. Um, I already know that I, well, unless something changes, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be applying to and attending a master's program in 2024. However, that master's program won't start until 2024 September. So that means I have about eight months of 2024 to do whatever I want. It means that I need to figure out what my horse plans are for the beginning of 2024 and set that up. So my horses are in South Korea, I'm in South Korea. That means that towards the end of 2023, I need to know where I'm gonna be moving and I need to have everything set up for me and my horses to go wherever we're gonna be going and training with whoever we're gonna be training with. So that is my final goal and I'm really excited for them actually. I think, as I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't have concrete goals for last year because I had no idea what was going on honestly with riding since I just started again. Uh, but this year I feel like I've made a ton of progress and I'm in a much more like stable place. So it feels really good to be able to make goals again and I'm super excited to to work towards them. I guess outside of the goals, I hope that I will have a happy, healthy, balanced 2023 as well. So those are my goals for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'd love to hear what your guys' goals are for 2023. So please leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Goodbye!